Let's look at DoorDash stock. It's now down 9% in overtime after touching a 52-week high today. I spoke earlier with DoorDash CFO Ravi Inukanda. He addressed the beats on revenues and orders, international growth, solid guide, and the EPS miss, even as adjusted EBITDA beat. Yeah, our international business is growing really fast. When I look at our results compared to peers, we are growing substantially faster, sometimes even three to five times faster than peers which is allowing us to gain share virtually in every market that we operate in. We are seeing progression across restaurants as well as grocery and international markets. In our international markets, there are some markets where grocery penetration is even higher than what we're seeing in the US. And in the US today, over 7 million consumers order from both groceries as well as restaurants. And that's just a small fraction of the over 37 million consumers that we have active on the platform. T tell me about earnings per share here, because I want to be sure I understand. I think I saw for Q4 expectations of a 13 cent loss. Uh, what are you reporting that that's comparable to? Our earnings, if you look at Q4 of 23, we have reduced the net loss by more than three times compared to Q4 of 2022 levels. And the growth in adjusted EBITDA plus the discipline we have around operating expenses, where overall operating expenses have been relatively flat for the last four quarters, while we've continued to grow revenue north of 30% plus, is what's driving the reduction in net loss compared to last year. Yeah, I saw that. I was just trying to, to reconcile. It looked like you were reporting a non-GAAP 39 cent loss, and I thought I saw the street expecting 13. So I, I didn't know if I was comparing the right things. On the comparison, you have to look at overall adjusted EBITDA as well as the stock-based compensation. And that's what's uh, driving uh, the overall net loss in the business. And we also had a one-time uh, write-off related to our uh, Flink investment uh, from a few years ago. That's also contributing to the overall net loss in the business. Tell me about consumer behavior that you're seeing overall. Um, we just got CPI numbers this week showing that inflation is still uh, very much present. It's a concern. How are you seeing that affecting consumer behavior in either basket size, frequency, or the types of orders that they're making? Consumer behavior on the platform continues to be really strong. Today, what we're seeing is in a year, in 23, when we thought consumers were pulling back, our users reached a record high of 37 million. Order frequency also reached a record high. And what we're seeing is consumers, once they start using DoorDash, across many categories, they're not going back. So basket size, I think I remember Tony telling me that people are still spending about as much, but maybe they're getting fewer things because things cost more. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong there, but what are you seeing in that category? Yeah, inflation has not uh, truly had an impact on our business. As the price per item has gone up, what we're seeing is people have ordered maybe slightly fewer items per order, but at the same time, our goal is to make the product more affordable by bringing fees down. When you put all of that together, the overall order value has not gone up that much.